Today we're in Evanston, revisiting a job we did about four years ago. This was an electrification project. Homeowner wanted to completely get off gas. So here we removed a gas furnace and installed a cold climate high performance heat pump. It's about a 1500 square feet, pretty old home in Evanston. They did do a lot of upgrades to the insulation, including the windows. So here was the traditional single stage AC, which we replaced for our Mitsubishi electric cold climate heat pump. This is a 42,000 BTU unit. It's the P-series equipment, a P-U-Z-H-A-44, uh, I'm sorry, 42, which is three and a half tons for cooling, 42,000 BTUs for heating. It's currently running. Today is not that cold, so it's running at a fairly low speed. Temperature today is only about 25 degrees, which is pretty cold, but for Chicago, it's not that cold. Uh, so this being a heat pump, what it's doing is pulling air, heating energy out of the outdoor air and absorbing that heat and injecting into the building building our refrigerant lines with this inverter technology. So this unit is fully variable speed compressor can slowly ramp up and down in capacity to maintain the highest efficiency and comfort levels. And then inside we have our air handler which we're going to go take a look in a minute. But the main reason we're here today again is uh, now the homeowner is ready to get the water heater converter into electric as well. We're going to be installing in the next couple of days a rim heat pump water heater. And then uh, they're going to operate the dryer to also heat pump and they're going to disconnect the gas meter. So I just had a little chat with the homeowner and this heat pump uh, hasn't cost them that much more than the gas furnace. That's cost a little bit more to run when it's very cold, but for the most part, it's super, super efficient. Much better comfort and even see through the home. So prior to the system, they used to have a pretty big difference in temperature, room to room, upstairs versus downstairs. Thanks to the inverter valve speed technology, the house is substantially more even temperature wise. Uh, and whisper quiet. It's probably running at about 40 decibels pretty much a modern refrigerator noise level. Uh, let's go take a look at the air handler inside. So we're in the basement taking a look at our air handler now. So we have a Mitsubishi PUZ air handler. It's a three and a half ton unit. And then here we have our backup heating element. So as we just took a look at the unit outside, so it's a cold climate heat pump. Again, in this house, we Electrify the home. There used to be a gas furnace here. Homeowner wanted to go all electric gradually. Uh, we still have the gas water heater, but that's why we're here again today. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, at the time, this was about four years ago, we removed the gas furnace that was venting with PVC piping, just like the water heater is. Those are the pipes that we capped off for the gas furnace. And we replaced it with this cold climate high performance heat pump with backup heating. So far, for the most part, they haven't used the backup heating much. The heat pump is able to take care of most of the heating load. And again, being a Mitsubishi unit, it's the same inverter technology that we're used to, which means the compressor can modulate up and down in very small increments to maintain very high efficiency levels and most importantly, much better comfort. Very small changes in temperature, very stable. Uh, heating, but also on the cooling, very, very stable cooling. For this setup, we also got our Lennox high performance filter. It's a five inch filter, which not only does a really good job for air quality, but it also restricts the airflow substantially less than a one inch filter, improving efficiency and airflow. And we also have our air purification system, the APCO X. Uh, this is the heat lockout controller. So what this control does is it prevents the heating elements to engage down to a certain temperature defined by the homeowner. That way we prioritize efficiency through the heat pump. And again, today we're visiting, we're gonna be operating the water heater to a rim heat pump water heater. Uh, and then the only gas appliance they will have left is their dryer, which they're soon gonna convert to a heat pump dryer and finally disconnect from the gas supply. So this uh, three and a half ton hyperheat heat pump is being able to keep up very comfort, comfortable temperatures here in uh, Evanston, Illinois, in the Chicago suburbs. 
Uh, the house is all 1,600 square feet. 